this is a nice example of infiltrated basal. If you'd like, you could call this micronodular because it's got the little tiny round islands. I don't just want tiny islands for micronodular. I want them to be trickling out into the dermis away from the main tumor. That For, for me, that's what I like for uh, micronodular. Look, we're like getting way out here and it's trickling along. And when I see tumor nests in basal going way out around in certain areas, the next thing I go do is look for perineural invasion. Because I saw this and I was like, I bet there's perineural. And look, here's a nerve tumor very close. Not in it, but it's really close. And then I did find one right over. I looked last night. Oh, I promise. I found it. And I was like, oh, I can find that again tomorrow. There's no way to dot this or mark it. But there was a, a nerve involved over on this side somewhere. So in any case, oh, it was going to be so impressive when I showed you guys. And you were going to be like, wow. I'm just joking. I knew that wouldn't happen. But when I see a tongue of tumor for any carcinoma going out way out away from the rest of the tumor always go look closely for perineural in basils it's not as significant oftentimes they're harder to clear though and they take more layers on those